Basketball game in East Liverpool High School brought to you by the great folks at PNN. We're about to have seen we had senior night here with uh, Potter's one of the Potter's last home games against the Beaver local Beavers. Real tight game last time between the Potters and the Beavers. Last time we played over there, yeah. I look to see. I look to see the Potters get a big lead at home tonight. Real big lead. Hayes really found a shot. This it was a little early in the season before. Hayes really found a shot this game around. Let's hope we can play a better game than what we did last last time against the AFM Bears. We barely won that in the last few seconds of the fourth quarter. Yeah, real close game. And here come your Potters starters. Oh, might as well tell you the coaches are head coach Nate Conley, varsity assistants are Scott Rogers, Josh Reed, and Eric Atkins. You got uh, John Rickard starting, Aaron Long, number 34, starting the game. Senior night, so all the seniors are going to be starting. Let's hope it being senior night that sparks us. Here comes fire. Zach English tonight. 
really hasn't had a uh, got an all right season. Yeah, he's had a decent season. Austin Emerling, the big man, checking him in before he comes in. <laughs> Bringing in the point guard. DJ Austin. Hayden Cunningham, their other senior, doesn't seem to be starting tonight. Wonder why. I have JR in starting form instead because Hayden starts every game. Very true, very true. I have a feeling Hayden's going to become a key player in this game then. Yeah, I don't know why he's not starting. Beaver Local has the ball. Chase Hilliard coming out with a couple uh, couple demands. Looking to dish the ball out to number four, Hayden Grafton. Back out to Hayden Grafton as he dishes it in to Chase Hilliard with, a, with an air ball off the backboard. Austin Everling with the rebound. DJ Austin brings it down the court. I'm looking for good ball movement. Takes the drive, backs it out to JR. JR to Zach English. Back to DJ. DJ setting it up. Aaron comes out of top. Sets the screen, but he goes the other way. Dishes to Austin Emerling, and Austin with the layup. The Potters get the first points of the night with seven minutes and 13 seconds to go in the first. Two nothing, your Potters. We're looking pretty good out there. Number 42 for the has the ball for the Beavers, Chandler Cornell. Passes it out to number 43, Josh Underwood. Goes to number four. Hayden Grafton. Hayden Grafton. Beavers put up some points on the board right there. DJ Austin looks to take it, take it down the court for the Potters. Correction there, no points for the Beavers, must have went out of bounds. Aaron Long gets the, misses the layup, Austin Emerling gets the ball, but it's Beavers' ball as they call it out on Austin Emerling. Potter's got the big men here. I don't think there's anyone taller than five foot on the Beavers' team. Actually, there is Josh Underwood, six foot five, but he's a short six foot five. Yeah, I don't, I don't look for Beaver local. I don't think they have very many star players out there. Josh Underwood with the two right there with the mid-range little jumper layup off the glass. DJ Austin brings it down the court. Fakes one, gets the screen from JR, almost turns the ball over, but he's got handles. Aaron Long with the ball up top. Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> DJ Austin pulls the long jumper. And JR ball. looks to foul out by halftime. Ball goes out of bounds. That'll be Beaver's ball. He throws it into number four, Hayden Grafton. He takes it down the court for the Beavers. As he crosses half court, he's looking to sit, make something happen. Goes to number 42, Chandler Cornell. He passes it to number one, Jar Jared Linder. Passes it out to number zero, Chase Hilliard. Goes back to Cornell. As they double team number one, Jared Leiter. Jared Leiter with the ball again, passes out to number 42, Chandler Cornell. Inside with the pass to number 43, and the shot is missed. Rebound Zach English as he brings it down the court. Passes to John Rickard, and John Rickard gets the layup to push your Potters up. Four to two. That was a nice play by the Potters. Good look. Fast break is going to be the Potter's key to victory tonight. Play solid defense and quit sw keep swatting at the ball. Mm -hmm. Good double team, good trap up there. But he got the pass off. In the corners, Josh Underwood trying to drive out around Austin Emerling to Chase Hilliard. Chase Hilliard misses. 
That's a terrible call. Chase Hilliard was able to draw the foul there as he lines up on the line to take two free throws. That's a familiar sight right there as he flops. Yeah. A lot of acting goes into basketball. And the first shot is no good. He's feeling the pressure already this early in the game. There's got to be a lot of pressure on Beaver this being part of senior night. As we went to their house and beat them, so they want to try to come here and beat us. There's a lot of pressure on them as they're down in the series. His second shot is up and he's good. DJ Austin brings it down the court for the Potters. Hayden Cunningham just checked in. Pass out to Cade, also in. Josh Underwood with the foul there on Aaron Long. Cade Reynolds looks to inbound the ball. I don't think Chase here is going to be able to handle Hayden Cunningham tonight. No one really seems to have an answer for him. Yeah, nobody has yet. And it, and this being senior night, he probably has a lot of adrenaline rushing through. Aaron Long misses the layup. Got to be frustrating for Aaron Long. Throw. He, they got us packing. Aaron Long came back with a vengeance and blocked that ball. Potter's ball as Aaron Long sends it off. Josh Underwood out of bounds. Hayden inbounds the ball to DJ Austin. DJ brings down the court. Zach English on the left side. Hayden cutting him for behind the line. Inside to Aaron Long. Aaron Long underneath and out. Aaron Long misses another layup. Aaron Crawford looks to come in here. The ball is knocked out of bounds by the Beavers. That'll be East Liverpool ball. DJ Austin brings it down the court after the Beavers turn the ball over out of bounds. Driving in on the drive, passes to Cade. Cade with the layup, and that's the Potter, 6-2. to 6-3, six to three, my apologies there. 6-3 to three with 3 minutes and 30 seconds left in this first quarter. DJ Austin playing defense on number 4, Hayden Grafton. DJ strips the ball, and they call it Potter's ball. Hayden Cunningham looks to throw it into DJ Austin. Three minutes and 19 seconds left. Don't really know what's going on in the court right now. Wow, they changed it to Beaver's ball. Must have been a foul called or something. I'm not sure what happened there. Long ball back to number four, Hayden Grafton. Looks to work the ball inside. Chase Harry with the ball on the outside. Nothing much there. Josh Underwood loosely handling the ball there. Chandler Cornell with the ball. They, must, they called something there. Missed the call. Foul on the Beavers. That'll be East Liverpool ball. DJ Austin takes it down the court. Good screen by Hayden happen. Cunningham. Wow, turnover by Owen Crawford. DJ Austin with the steal. That's a terrible call. Got the ball cleanly there. These refs. The refs are definitely crossing their T's and dotting their I's out there this tonight. He must have left his glasses at him on that one. Owen Crawford threw his shot. K. Brown straight up and down to just get enough contact. Owen Crawford with a strong rebound. DJ Austin brings it down the court. Looking to make something happen. Tries to make a move. Passes it out to Owen Crawford on the three line. Goes to Zach English who takes a deep three. Misses. Can't rebound Cade major. Reynolds. No call there. Not a, not a surprise at all. Potters couldn't get a foul if they paid for one. Number 42, Chandler Cornell makes a nice deep two for the Beavers. 
DJ Austin takes it down the court, looking to make something happen. Goes out to Zach English. Zach English on the drive, Pushes passes out to Cade Reynolds. And Cade Reynolds sinks the three. That was a nice shot by Cade right there. Good setup there on the play by the Potters. Austin Emerling looking to check back in at the next opportunity. Passes the ball to number four. Jared. Number yeah. 43, Josh Underwood. Goes for the layup for the Beavers and makes it. DJ Austin takes it down the court. Crosses makes once. Him makes him look silly. Oh, and he's just swing it back. And Crawford was wide open in the corner to Cade Reynolds. Cade shoots another three and misses that shot. The Beavers get the rebound. Chase Hilliard frustrated because Hayden's playing good defense on him. And that'll be Chandler Cornell with a two for the Beavers. DJ Austin takes it down the court for the Potters, goes into Cade, who passes it out to Jack English. Takes a deep two and makes it. That'll make the score 11 of the nine Potters with 40 seconds left in the first period. Zach English almost gets a steal for the Potters, but for number 42, Chandler Cornell was he able to Good it steal in. by Aaron Crawford to tip it away. Chase Harry recovers the, from the pass and gets the layup. DJ Austin takes it down the court. That's a tie ball game with 15 it seconds to Hayden left. Hayden Cunningham and tries to make a hard two. K. Reynolds gets the rebound and makes it two and a foul. Hayden looks a little frustrated as he couldn't get the call. Austin Emerling checks into the game for the Potters. And Cade Reynolds bangs his free his foul shot, so that'll make it 14 to 11, Potters. Cade playing good defense Cade with the steal. Nice steal, but kicks it out of bounds. That'll be Beaver local ball. Three seconds left in this first period. Potter's up three with three seconds left. A long shot with a prayer there. Beavers can't seem to put it in. We're going to uh, send you into the second quarter. Potters number 22, the... Zach English has two points. Number four... Owen Crawford has no points. Number 23. Cade Reynolds. Cade Reynolds has eight leading the Potters out there tonight. Austin Emerling has two, and Hayden Cunningham has no points. I look for that to change here in the second quarter. Hayden's not really coming off the bench kind of player. He usually starts his game, so really look to see him come out and dominate in the second quarter. Hopefully. He warmed up, find a shot. The student section for East Liverpool seems to be excited tonight. Playing our uh, across town rivals, the Beavers, so. Yeah. This is always a hype game every year. And the Potters bringing the ball, Isaac Davison checking in as he inbounds to number 11, DJ Austin. DJ Austin walking slowly down the court, making something happen. Passes Hayden. to Isaac, goes out to Hayden Cutting. Hayden pulls the three. three. And, it's, and it's cash. He's going to hit that all night wide open from behind the line. Number four for the Beavers, Hayden Grafton has the ball. Passes off to number 42, Chandler Cornell. Goes to number one, Jared Leiter, who makes the two for the Beavers. Isaac Davison takes it down the court for the Baldurs. Passes to Hayden. Hayden, Hayden the, for the three. 
takes it deep too oh. and can't put it in. And Austin. one, baby, and one. Austin Emerlin gets the rebound and makes it up and gets an and one. Good play by the Potters there. Austin Emerlin with the foul going up strong to the basket as he puts it in and he looks to earn his three points from the line. He sets for his foul shot. It's up and he can't. And he can't, can't knock it, it down, but it's off the Beavers and it's Potter ball. And the Beaver guy didn't look too excited about it. The Beaver guy. The Beaver guy. That was number one, Jared Leiter. Cade Reynolds goes to third in for the Potters. Throws it deep down the court. Cade Reynolds uh, reliving his uh, football career there. As he can't seem to complete that long pass. Turns it over to the other team. Isaac Davison has the ball for the Potters. Looking to make something happen. Good screen by Austin Emerling as he's on the drive. Passes over to Cade. Cade Passing swings to DJ. DJ wide open. Misses the wide open three. Good board by Austin Emerling and the foul. He's got to make these foul shots. That's going to be crucial towards the end of the game if it's a close game. These missed foul shots could be the win or the lose for the Potters here tonight. Very true. The Oakland game last week would have been a lot closer if Potter would have been if the Potters would have been making their foul shots. And he misses the first one. As he sets up to take his second shot. The ball is up. And, and he, he hits it. it. Number four, Hayden Grafton takes it down the court for the beat. Almost turned it over. DJ Austin playing good defense. Hayden Cunningham not letting not letting uh, Chase here get anything here as he's playing real tight defense on him. Another key to victory for the Potters is their good defense. Number 15, Bryce McKenzie has the ball for the Beavers. Tries to make something happen. Pass it to number one, Jared Leiter. Takes a shot and makes it. Potters can't leave him wide open like that. He'll knock those down all night. This is his second one. Passes out to Cade. Cade on the drive. Ooh, with a hard foul from the Beavers there as Cade Reynolds looks to earn his points from the stripe. Foul was called on number 43, Joss Underwood. Okay, drains his first foul shot. Ball is up. And his Kay. second foul shot is good also. K. Reynolds playing strong tonight as he has. Scores 22 to 17 in this game. Potter's leading with six, sec six minutes to go in the second quarter. Number one for the Beavers, Jared Leiter goes up to try to make the shot and he can't put it down. K. Reynolds has 10 points tonight. Maybe K. looks to take over the, uh, the scoring record from Hayden tonight. I don't know about all that. <laughs> He's only got 40 more points to go. Number one for the Beavers, Jared Leiter trips and falls. The ball goes to number zero, Chase Hilliard. No surprise there from the clumsy Beavers falling all over the place. Number 15, Bryce McKenzie has the ball trying to make something happen. Ball is almost tipped away by Zach English. Oh my goodness. The Potters cannot get an inch tonight as the, fouls are, as the refs are calling every single thing they can on the Potters. Got to even out the game somehow. Number zero, Chase Hill, you throws it in for the Beavers. That's something I've seen to notice when the Potters play the Beavers is I was at the game and we played them there, and the refs are more or less on the side of the Beavers there too. It always seems to happen that way. In every sport. Nice tip by Zach English as the ball goes to Cade Reynolds and takes it down the court. Goes to Isaac on the three line, drives in. Cade takes the open three, 
and he can't make it. That'll be out of bounds on the Beavers, Potter's ball. Cade Reynolds passes to Hayden Cunningham, who loses it out of bounds. That'll be Beavers' ball. I have a hard time believing Hayden Cunningham threw that out of the ball, threw that out of, out of bounds like that. His hands were in the air. Just another blown call by these referees. Surprised they didn't call a foul there. Number zero for the Beavers, Chase Hilliard looks to make something happen. Passes it out to number four. Who makes this shot? Hayden Grafton. Zach English passes to Isaac Davison who walks down the court for the Potters. Austin Emerling sets the pick. Ball goes to Hayden Cunningham. Drives in, goes to Isaac Open on the three line. He drains it. I got uh, three letters for you there. W-E-T. And what's that spell? Wet. That's what he is from behind the line. Wet all day. Isaac only being a sophomore, he shoots threes like it's his job. Getting paid seven eighty five an hour minimum wage out there. Hayden Cunningham with good D knocks the shot away. That was a poor shot by Chase here. Don't really know what he was looking for there. Hayden Cunningham makes a nice two and he draws the foul. And one is the Potters lead 27 to 19. With three minutes and 51 seconds left in this half. Hayden Cunningham has five points tonight, and Cade Reynolds has 23 so far. Hayden sets his feet to take his first foul shot. The ball is up, and he drains it. Number four for the Beavers. Hayden Grafton takes it down the court. DJ Austin playing tight D. Now he's getting double teamed by Isaac Davison. Goes to number 15, Bla Blake McKenzie, Bryce McKenzie. Number zero, Chase Hill, he looks third in the, to the Beavers after the ball went out of bounds. Austin Emerling playing tight defense on Jared Leiter. Goes out to Chase Hilliard on the three line, but can't put the shot down. Austin Emerling tries to knock the ball away from the Beavers and does. That'll be Potter's ball as it goes out of bounds. Isaac Davison throws it into DJ Austin, who walks it slowly down the court. DJ goes, passes it to Isaac, goes to Hayden Cunningham on the three line. He takes a shot, and he drains it. What a shot by Hayden Cunningham. He doesn't miss many of those. DJ Austin plays tight D, almost knocks the ball away, but the Beavers, number four, Hayden Grafton, was able to knock it away. DJ Austin gets a steal, but they call, the, call a foul on the Beavers. He'll sit at the line for two shots. Beavers call a timeout in this game. Score is 31 to 19 here in the second quarter. Potter's lead. 14 fouls for the Potters, seven for the Beavers. Number 22. Zach English has two points for the Potters. Number 10, Owen Crawford has three. Hayden Cunningham has nine, and John Rickard has five. Austin Emerling, not John Rickard. Austin Emerling has five points tonight. Both teams come back out on the court and get ready to start, get, start playing again. DJ Austin goes to line up and take his two foul shots. Two minutes and 59 seconds left in this game as DJ sets up, takes a couple practice dribbles. The ball is up, and he drains his first shot. A nice, a nice shot by DJ Austin. Second shot is up and also good. Number four for the Beavers, Hayden Grafton has the ball. 
DJ Austin playing D for the Potters. Knocks the ball away again, but he's able to recover. Looking for somebody, has 15 on the perimeter. Bryce McKenzie, who takes the shot, and it is good. Zach English throws it to DJ on the throw in. Goes to Isaac. Looking for somebody. He finds DJ Austin deep in the three. He may, takes a shot. He misses and Beaver gets, Beavers get the rebound. Number one, Jared Leiter has the ball. Goes to number 43, Josh Underwood. Passes it to number 15, Bryce McKenzie. He drives in and takes a shot and makes a nice layup. DJ Austin passes it to Isaac. He takes it across the half court. Austin Emerling sets a nice pick as Isaac passes to Hayden, who misses a three. Luckily, Austin Emerling is able to catch the rebound and make a nice two. Number zero, Chase Hilliard has the ball for the Beavers. Passes it to number four, Hayden Grafton. Trying to make something happen, and he loses his footing on DJ Austin. Passes it to Isaac, who goes up for a layup and makes the layup. That was a nice, fast-paced play by the Potters as they've got their mojo working. Double team by the Potters is Hayden Cunningham fouls the Beaver, number four, Hayden Grafton. That is, that'll be Potters team, fifth foul. Number one, Jared Leiter has it, passes it out to number 15, Bryce McKenzie. Goes to Hayden Grafton. Goes back out to McKenzie. Which goes to number 43, Joss Underwood. Goes to number zero, Chase Hilliard. Goes out to Bryce. Passes it in to Jared Leiter, who makes a, makes a nice layup. DJ Austin takes it down the court for the Potters. Looking to make something happen, goes through the legs. Austin Emerling sets a nice pick. Zach but trying to make something happen on the three line. Goes down to Hayden on the other side. Takes a, takes a stutter step, goes to Austin. Back to Hayden on the three line. Makes a move, but can't get the pass off to Austin Everling as the ball travels out of bounds. 40 seconds left in the second period. As Cade Reynolds checks into the game for Austin Emerling. Aaron Long also checking into the game. The score is 37-25 here as the Potters lead the Beavers. 40 seconds left in the period. Number four, Hayden Grafton has the ball for the Beavers. Defense by DJ Austin. The ball is stolen again by DJ Austin, but the Beavers recover. Number 43, Josh Underwood has it for the Beavers. Passes to Chase Hilliard. He goes out to number 15, Bryce McKenzie. He loses his footing and falls. That'll be Potter's ball as the ball goes out of bounds. Hayden Cunningham looks to throw it into DJ Austin with seven sec 17 seconds left in this half as the Beavers call a timeout. Potter's call a timeout, not the Beavers. John Missick, the OVAC champ with the paint on his face. Potters get set to take the court again. Number 11, DJ Austin throws it into to Isaac Davidson. 17 seconds left in this sec second period. Five team fouls for the Potters and seven for the Beavers. Isaac crosses the court to cross the half, li half court line. Looking for somebody. Kate Reynolds sets the pick. Goes out to Hayden. He's got Kate open to his left. 
Hayden goes up to make the two and, and calls a foul on Hayden. That'll be traveling. Never mind, that's a foul on the Beavers. Hayden Cunningham lines up at the line for two free throws. He makes his first shot as he lines up to take a second. He sets his feet. Takes a couple practice dribbles. The ball is up, and it's good. Beavers number four, Hayden Grafton tries to take a deep shot but misses as the time expires in the second period. Score will be 39 to 25 as we end the, second, the first half. Potter's beating the Beavers. We'll be back after halftime, but, but for now you're listening to PNN, Potters versus Beavers.